Hey, I'm Manu Po Choi. And I'm Casey Wall, and we're the owners of Rockwell and & Sons. And we're going to show you around Collingwood. This is the Hood Food Guide. I was working with Manu's roommate at Cutler & Co. Uh, Manu spent some time in New York, and I had just moved over to Melbourne from New York. So we talked about some of the experiences and some of the restaurants we liked. We had this group that would get together, We'd go to people's houses or warehouses or factories and we'd do a six course or five course dinner. Uh, the last one that we did, we got offered to yeah. fly into this place. It's like one of those deals that you get and it's like, it would be stupid to turn it down. Most of our careers had been spent in fine dining. We, we kind of saw it as a way to bridge the gap between fine dining and a pub meal. If you're going to probably describe Collingwood in three words, I'd probably say rural, real and diverse. So we're at Andy Pegs. This is where we come to get some of the best coffee in Melbourne. Uh, some would say the world. Dude, what's up? Now I've got a pretty interesting coffee to show you today. No one has seen this coffee before, so you boys are some of the first people uh, on the planet to uh, try it this morning. There's plenty of good coffee in Collingwood, but nothing on this level. I create a relationship with them and they'll give you the best coffee every day. Yeah. Oh man, that's unreal. Yeah. What you see in front of us here is a little different to a normal cafe. Essentially this is our cellar door to the coffee roastery. And the whole idea is that we can make coffee for you in front of you. I custom designed this espresso machine. We strip everything back. As a customer, you can sit at the bar and really have that engagement. In the background, your coffee's been roasted, uh, blended, bagged, and um, a bit of romance and um, something special about that experience. It doesn't get much better than this, you know? To be the top of the game in the biggest coffee city in the world is pretty inspiring. We're heading down to Train Bakery to grab a quick pork roll. Uh, they're pretty fucking awesome. Let's do this. Yep. Gets on my way to work, uh, usually after cycling. I want something to smash before we start work, and this is a quick, awesome place to come into. We got here a uh, crispy pork roll. It's a little step away from traditional. Some fried onions, pork belly, roast pork shoulder, pork crackling, pickles, coleslaw. Mm. Oh man, killer. When I went with the uh, kind of old school, I went with the bun meat tea. So a lot of cold cuts, pate, and then they got the slaw and onions as well. So it's like a fusion of cultures, Vietnamese flavor profile, but you got a lot of French technique behind it as well. Crackling's on point. Super consistent. Every time I come here, the pork roll is the same. During lunch, it's always busy. It feeds everyone in Collingwood. We're at Mama Nee. They do Southern Thai food. It's fucking tasty. They do a lot of dishes you can't find in other Thai restaurants in Melbourne. So let's do this. This is definitely the second best fried chicken on Smith Street. <laughs> Fermented fish in the science curry. That one is a very traditional southern Thai curry. That one is very fiery actually. Yeah. <laughs> Was it too hot? Oh. Yeah. It's spicy. And the sour curry with cha om omelette and prawns. This one is pat pet. Quite common around Thailand, but maybe our version is a bit more spicy with the aunties making the homemade curry taste themselves. Yeah, very small family run business. Well, Mamani is from one of my aunties' name. Some of her friends ordered a traditional Southern Thai dishes because we're from the South. So then on, we thought, well, this is what we're going to do. So a trip to Collingwood wouldn't be complete without a trip to the most OG of restaurants in Collingwood. We're going to Jim's Greek Tavern. We're meeting some of the boys. We'll show you some traditional Greek food. In the ancient world, the Greek salad was renowned amongst the Mediterranean. The food of choice for philosophers, mathematicians, and emperors and kings. I give you the Greek salad. Although in Greece they just call us salad. <laughs> Oh, yes. oh fuck yeah. The best fish in Australia. Some blue eye fillets. The best fish in New Zealand. You brought the best of the test. And 
every time we come, I always look forward to the lamb on the spit. We get the caramelized bits on the outside, the tender bits on the inside. The lamb's awesome. Uzu and lamb. Mm -hmm. I always ordered octopus. It's been tenderized nicely. And then you got a bit of chocolate on it. And then when you just put the lemon on top, it's just perfect. Always get the saganaki. Mm -hmm. It's hot caramelized cheese. <laughs> it's like a, a no-brainer, really. It's an institution. It's a classic. It's uh, a lot of fun. The atmosphere's great. And you can bring a slab of piss in and get muntai with your mates. It's like, a, it's like an anti-restaurant. You don't have to think about anything. You walk in, kind of feed off the vibe of the entire place, eat food and have fun and laugh and drink piss. That's what it's really about. We get all walks of people coming through the door and everybody just feels at home, you know? It's just that energy, that atmosphere in the room. We just try to like give the people a good time. What makes this place so important is that it's brought two different cultures together. It's enabled Greek Australians to integrate into Australian culture. One of our, our landlords, a Greek guy, and he was like, back in the day when they used to walk down the street, like yeah. the, all the Aussie kids would see them and they'll see their black hair, and they'll go like, the Greeks are here, and they'll run away. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome, yeah, man. That's, that's, that's probably my dad and my uncle's <laughs> and stuff, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just come in, know that they're gonna take care of you and have a good night. Like, just turn your brain off and enjoy the food. Thanks for letting us you on Collingwood. I'm Casey Wall. I'm Manu Portoy. And this is the Hood, Hood Food, Food Guide. Guide. <laughs> 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 <laughs>